Seconds out, round one. Ninth outing tonight for one of the classier hopefuls here in the northeast. The skillful southpaw Martin Ward, who's been catching the eye in recent months, and in with a, a fellow port sider in London's bus, stubborn Mickey Coveney, who's seasoned. And he's not bad, Coveney. We've seen him a few times before. Yeah, have a good solid little performance. He's enjoying a little bit of a weight advantage tonight, so he'll want to come forward. We've seen some nice performances from Martin Ward recently. Boxer. Doesn't stop too many, which is fine because tonight I think they'll be one to do on the move. Just get a, a convincing points win on his slate. Doesn't really want to start mixing it with Coveney. A stylish and skilled Martin Ward. Neil Fannin and his team rate Ward extremely highly. They think he will be a British champion within 12 to 18 months. Coveney, though, as Jim was saying, this big weight advantage. He came here 10-2, Ward 9-4. Straight down to it, aren't they? Yeah, Coveney's getting close. This could be a little bit of a problem. Maybe a bit more movement, maybe lead off as opposed to trying to counter. Maybe looking left hands from Kavni, but he's not a puncher, only one knockout on the record. Maybe that's why Team Ward took this, despite the weight problem, the weight difference. Because he's not a banger, Kavni. the early stages here, nothing to split them. Good left hand from Coveney, put them together nicely. It's getting too close for comfort, I think. I think it's a better start from Coveney here, Jim. Coming forward, just putting pressure on Ward. As maybe he hasn't seen yet in his fledgling career. Tries a body shot back. I think Ward's going to need a little bit more movement as this one goes along. He's allowing Covenant to get close too often. Covenant prepared to let some punches go. Good opening round. Spark with some of the top boys, Mickey Covney. Durable, stunning time. This south ball from the Peacock Gym. It's better for Ward. The faster hands, the movement. That's what he needs to do. I think he needs more movement. Uh, I don't think he has the start on his punches to discourage Covenant. So he wants to get his punches off first. Get himself out of there. Tough opening round for him. One of the only rounds he's lost so far in his pro career, Martin Ward. Good start for Kavni. Nice and smooth. Listen, you've got to count him. He's getting too many left hands in over the top. Yeah. When you stood there and you're just pouring, he's throwing his left hand and he's catching it. <laughs> Try and get him to lead, it's as if you're holding your feet, and then step back, speed, but you've got to watch for the second attack. Right. When, he, when you're throwing so much, <laughs> he, he's catching it over the top. Right. Don't lose that speed. Right. Level round, Martin, I think, level round. Right off. That's speed, okay. you, you, sharp, you've got sharp. to be sharp, you've got to be sharp. Martin Bowers and the company nice corner. And calm. Good start, yeah, nice and busy again. Yeah. Don't yeah. chase, all right? Just Ten seconds, corners. When we're there, what we got to do? Seconds out. Early days. Round two. Here's the second round. We're in the lightweight division, nine stone nine. Although Martin Ward will be hoping to make waves as a super fan to win, I would have thought, in the months to come. What a deal with this Mickey Coveney first from West Ham. He's had over double the amount of fights that Ward's had. Ward a great amateur company, a more solid pro. Interesting. So I think the problem for Ward is that company is walking right in behind these attacks. He's not reaching with punches, so it's difficult to make him miss and then counter. So I think Ward's going to have to get the punches off first and then get himself out of there. Trying to counter when the man just keeps rolling forward, it's not easily done. Strong as well, Coveney. Broad shoulders for a little fella, is Mickey Coveney. We 
he's had only one knockout on his leg, but also only one for Martin Ward. He's a stone. He's giving away Ward. He's really got to be snappy like that. Body shot. Attack from Cavney. Good defence from Ward. He's got to be using his feet, though, circling around Cavney, giving him angles. I don't think counter-punching is, is the right plan here because of the way Cavney is rolling right up close, not giving him any room. So he should be getting his punches off earlier. Taking too many here, Ward. And three years away, Mickey Cavney. Turn in September. Oh, it's here in a beautiful shot. Two, and down goes three, Ward. First time four, in his pro career. Five, He's not going to get up from six. this. All over in the second round. And immediately, we just turn our attention to Martin Ward. That was a heavy fall. And Neil Fannon, the referee and the doctor in, just tending to Ward because it was a nasty knockdown there and no celebrations quite rightly from Mickey Coveney. Hard fall that, Jim. Yeah, he just collapsed from the, the, the right hand. It was a real solid right hand. Uh, see, that is the danger of giving away so much weight. That punch caught him really solidly. He was always struggling with the physical strength of Coveney. He wants to get up. I think fighters are more embarrassed than anything else when they're on the floor. But uh, precautions, obviously. They want to keep him there until they're fully sure he's ready to come back up again. They're giving him some oxygen at the moment. But he looks OK. He's responding. He wants to get back up again. But uh, maybe just uh, the weight he was giving away tonight, just... A bridge too far, maybe. Ward, thankfully, sits up and a, a clap for Mickey Coveney in the red corner. And his trainer, Martin Bowers. It's a massive win for the likeable West Ham Southpaw. And a terrible defeat, really, for Martin Ward. Giving away almost a stone in weight. I mean, in hindsight, not sensible. No, well, he was always struggling uh, with uh, the weight, weight advantage, the strength of Coveney. But uh, we take chances in the game, but you have to remember there's a reason we have weight divisions and they're not uh, 12 pounds apart. Yeah, especially with the lighter guys as well. There's two weight divisions apart, these two, and this was, was the a, punch. It was a real solid shot, yep. Just caught him flush. On the face, you seem to catch him on the, 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 the cheekbone, but you can see the way Coveney stepped right in behind the punch. Caught him a little bit high, he tried to respond, but you saw a little delayed action, which is usually the sign of a real good shot. And they're moving forward himself because he was trying to counter, and just the, the legs gave way, and he collapsed to the floor. Thankfully, he's fine now, he's sitting up. But uh, you can see the impact of that punch, that's as good a punch as Mickey Coveney has thrown in his pro career. You can see the warrior spirit uh, was still trying to come back with a counter. He couldn't stay upright from the impact of the shot. Real upset on this undercard here in Hope Lisbury.